Hi, I'm Christina Aguilar. I'm hey, I'm Shane Millward. And hey all, my name's Mirko. I am the writer, director, editor and sound designer for Lacuna. And I'm the producer for Lacuna. And I was a cinematographer on Lacuna. I have this like fascination with obsolete words and yeah. it's become like a theme of mine to look at these words and create a story from that. And so Lacuna was one of these. Lacuna means a missing piece and I tried to see how it fits in life and what more of a missing piece is a missing parent. One of the main challenges writing the story was getting into the headspace of a 10 year old and trying to understand how they would understand their parents' separation. Personally, I've never really had to deal with this idea of parents being together and then all of a sudden they actually separate. So from talking to friends of mine who have gone through that, a lot of them felt like it was a traumatic experience and that was one of the hardest things is trying to understand that concept but also be cautious of how people were going through that. Gear-wise on this project, we knew we had to keep it light so we could move fast because we didn't have much time. So we ended up shooting with the GH5 in a little shoulder rig. So most of the day we were moving either just handheld with this little rig or on sticks. In terms of lenses, shooting a bit of a mixed bag of some Canon L-series lenses and some old-school Russian Helios glass as well. A lot of the challenges that we faced on the shoot were due to weather. The weather was insane. Our poor cinematographer Mirko, his nose was dripping all day. <laughs> And with the wind chill, it just it really got to all of us. And I mean, that's not even considering the technical problems that it gives sound when you've got 30 or 40 kilometer per hour winds. Jared had the road blimp, the NTG3 inside. And I mean, that's about as good as you can do with wind, but even then it was still a challenge. A significant chunk of the actual script is the two girls playing Frisbee. And we got about halfway through the day and we were behind on schedule. And so I tried just testing out the frisbee and just passing it to Mirko and the frisbee's just flown like a kilometre in the opposite direction from the wind. We just realised that this current location was not going to work for the rest of the script. Shane, Mirko and I made an executive decision to relocate the shoot to a different location where it would be more undercover from the wind and it actually turned out really well. The actual location that we ended up using was actually a lot better than the original one we had chosen. We had a lot of fun making Lacuna and we really hope you enjoy it.